We certainly noticed that over the, uh, the, the COVID situation and during lockdown, absenteeism significantly reduced, which was fantastic to see uh, and really how everyone was able to pull together and support. Since lockdown has been released uh, and the, the lockdown restrictions have been reduced, we've started to notice there's been an increase in absenteeism. That can also manifest in people being uh, absent without leave also. Um, it's really important that people are under understanding of the, the different approaches to our systems in place and understanding the importance that you're able to follow these different policies and protocols. I just want everyone to be conscious that when they wake up that morning and they're really making that conscious decision of should I attend work or not, consider some really vital points. How is this going to impact on, one, the individual? They may have an upcoming event, a significant event that day. It could be a, a hospital appointment. It could be they're um, walking to the local shops or going out on a local walk. It could be the first time they've seen their parents in months. So thinking about the impact that a staff member's absenteeism could have on that significant event. And then also for everybody to be really conscious of the impact this has on your wider team as well. So thinking about resource and how they're able to then you know, maximise all of their time to enable finding staff members to, uh, to support that location. But also I want you to be conscious about the relationships. If you've explained to an individual that you will see them tomorrow and then you no longer are able to do that, without any real justified reason that could cause a lot of distress for some individuals as well, as long as a lot of confusion as well. The impact of absenteeism and absence in the home is quite high. The risk that is impacts the individual's um, routines. We do have individuals that have set routines and obviously if that um, staff member calls in sick then we then have to um, sit down with that individual and have a conversation about the impact that it could possibly have on their day. Um, and then that could also result in anxious behaviours, agitated behaviours and be behaviours where it uh, makes the individual become sad and upset that they can't obviously get their fulfilment out of that day as well. We want to have that one team approach and having the mindset of I'm just going to have a day off here and a day off there. For us that is no one team approach and we have to really really think about if you're really not very well we totally understand, we get it, we, we're all human at the end of the day and actually we need to consider the individuals and what type of job and work that we're in. It's really important that staff do follow the home from home care policies and procedures by calling in a minimum of two hours before the start of a shift time. The reason we ask this um, is so that we can ensure that us as a resource team um, can backfill um, the shift that you should have been attending, which then ensures that the individuals can carry on with their day to day tasks. The impact on staff not calling in or just not turning up for shifts, so being AWOL, um, really does make um, it difficult for both the homes. The resource team having to find staff to work long days so you are um, having to pick up extra to ensure that the individuals are completing their daily tasks. And I think the courtesy of actually following our processes um, is very straightforward. Please do follow that process because then that means that we're reducing the stress levels within the home. The individuals then don't get too um, overwhelmed with anxieties and actually they know where they stand when it comes to the next day or obviously that that next shift. If someone is AWOL, firstly we have to check that they're safe and they're actually okay and that takes up quite a lot of time and resources. If we then find out that that person has no good reason for being AWOL then it's actually classed as gross misconduct and you could lose your job and be dismissed from your role.